Ah, it's good to be home. Ah, Higgins, thank you. Ah, I've been waiting for this. Whilst away, my endeavours to procure an old-fashioned, even a half-decent, were as fruitless as ever. Perhaps I shall have to start taking you with me on these short trips as well, Higgins. Hmm. Have those taken to the lab. And this time, Higgins, do take care not to drop them on the way. I'll be very angry if their contents are disrupted. Hmm? Oh yes, I did ask for the doctors to have a report ready for my return, didn't I? How have the last few days been? Not reviewed in pain relief. Good. Hmm. Interesting. Oh dear. I suppose this was to be expected, given. I assume you are aware, Higgins, that the League has issued a statement saying the hero is taking a well-deserved break. Well, the underworld is buzzing with some truly creative rumours about their disappearance. No, no, no. No one seems to have any idea they are here. The whole situation reads like a plot of a movie, I tell you. Apparently, our hero has been getting into some mischief of late. The League even grounded them a few weeks ago. Hero then started obsessing with satellites, monitoring and spotting a change in the imagery of our island, where that brush got cleared. Ah, oh, good grief, Higgins. The area behind the vanguard where the mega greenhouse is being built. You know, the one that will house that second vegetable garden you've been pestering me about the last six months. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what's happening, Higgins. What on earth do you think all the activity and noise has been about back there? Never mind that. I'm getting to the interesting part, so do shut up for a minute, would you? So, when our hero reported the change, they got a wave off and told it was nothing to worry about. That didn't go over well at all, so they went rogue and came here looking for an explanation. They had no idea about the missile and their arrival at launch time was pure happy tense. And what's more, when they were grounded, they were stripped of all their gadgets and gear. Therefore, while on this unauthorized mission that no one knew about, they had no way to call for help, not that they had any time to. Thus, all those extra scans we did looking for tracking devices, they were never going to pick up anything. Oh well, better safe than sorry. 
Yes, I was a little concerned about that at first. After all, reporting about this place was the last thing they did before leaving. But while the League has been paying more attention on our little island, it was noted that our hero departed in the opposite direction, towards their cabin in the mountains. They have retreated there before, see, and for no insignificant period of time. Furthermore, after the incident, the breach was restored before the next satellite pass. The League has nothing to suggest anything happened here at all, and our agents informed me that they think our guest is taking a well-deserved break off the grid. We are in the clear, it seems, for now. I said that at the start, didn't I? Cinematic gold, but as you know, I don't lie. If that is all, Higgins, I shall take my leave. I'll visit the hospital before I retire. Have a nightcap waiting for me. Well, you are looking better than when I last saw you. It's good to see that tracheotomy is gone. How are you managing with the tablet I got you? It works. Yes, you've become quite prolific with it. We can have a proper conversation at last. So, how are you feeling? Fine. You are fine? <sighs> My dear. The doctors tell me while you are no longer resisting pain relief, you barely engage with them. Do you not remember what I said about putting up a front? You do yourself a disservice. Why do you care? Why do I care? I don't understand why I wouldn't care. Enemy plus prisoner. Enemy? Prisoner? <laughs> My dear, I've never considered you as to be either. <laughs> we may not see eye to eye on many things, and your past actions has caused me disadvantages, but I bear you no ill will for following orders you were given and never have. As for holding you prisoner, do you see any chains? Hero, I'm aware you do not want anyone to know where you went. I have thus refrained from informing anyone of your presence here. However, if you so wish, I will contact the League on your behalf. No doubt that they will dispatch a team immediately. I will permit their medical personnel to land and facilitate your transport to their headquarters. Is this what you want? But my dear, I do believe that it is in your best interest to remain here. Right now, you are extremely fragile and at high risk of infection. There is no place better equipped for you to heal and, and you are welcome to stay as long as it takes. Furthermore, while you are here, recovery can be your sole concern. 
Anything else can be dealt with later. That's something I think you need right now, but as unlikely to get if you leave. My dear, I need you to know what you want to do. Leave or stay. Stay, stay, stay. Hmm. I think you made a wise decision, my dear. Now that's sorted, shall we start over? How are you feeling? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, that might just be the most honest thing you've ever expressed to me. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? My ears, or eyes, are all yours. I swear, my dear, not an old soul will know the words you share with me. Perhaps another time then. However, can you at least tell me if you are comfortable in bed? Or... If there is anything I can do to make you more comfortable. Too hot. Thank you for saying so. You are rather bundled up there. We can't have you getting cold, so let's just remove this top blanket right now. If you are still too hot, in a few minutes, we'll... Remove another layer. Is there anything else? Fluff pillow. Yes, of course I can fluff your pillow. I mean, fluff your pillow for you. Now, don't raise your head without my hand behind you to support it. We must mind your throat. How? Fluff it with my other hand. Easy does it. Up we go. That's it. Pillow is fluffed. Now, lowering your head back down. Is that better, my dear? Actually, is this the right pillow for you? I can get you a thinner one or a softer one. Perfect. Oh, good. You really must speak up about these things, Hero. As soon as they bother you. Ah, the blankets. Are you still too warm, my dear? No. Good, good. Now, it's getting late and it looks like you are about to nod off. Is there anything else I can do for you before I go? I can tell there's something on your mind. Come now, is there something bothering you? Please say so. Itch. An itch? Well, there ain't many things more irritating than an itch. But, it does have an easy fix. Where is it? I'll get it for you. <sighs> My dear, we all get itches from time to time. Just tell me where it is and I'll make it go away. On your right knee? Okay. Good thing is not your left. That's much less accessible with all the bandages and the brace. Are you able to bend your right leg a little or do you need help? I'll lift the blanket. Ah, you are right, my dear. You've suddenly gone red. Wearing a gown. Yes, I'm aware you are wearing a gown. 
not to worry is not going to be in the way. Only wearing a gown. You are only wearing a gown. <laughs> well, yes. Why would you be wearing anything else? I don't understand what's the pro. Oh, my dear, you are unaware that I was heavily involved in the life-saving treatment you received on the beach, where you were much more uh, exposed. Ah, so uh, that would be a no. <laughs> uh, perhaps that is something to discuss another time. How would you like to proceed with this itch? I can close my eyes if it makes you more comfortable. Itch gone. It's gone. Are you certain? <laughs> All right then. Unless you need anything else, I shall leave you to rest. I shall return in the morning or sooner if you wish. The blue button on the tablet message me directly. Ask and I shall come. Understood? Good. Sleep well, hero.